Okay, so good morning, everybody. So we are now on Facebook Live. Um, we will get started now. As I say, we're going to start off with Psalm 41. And we, um, there's 13 verses there, so we will read the whole lot this time round. And then we will pick out some prayer points for that. So Psalm 41. Blessed are those who have regard for the weak. The Lord delivers them in times of trouble. The Lord protects and preserves them. They are counted among the blessed in the land. He does not give them over to the desires of their foes. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed and restores them from their bed of illnesses. I said, have mercy on me, Lord. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies say of, of me in malice, when will he die and his name perish? When one of them comes to see me, he speaks falsely, while his heart gathers slander. Then he goes out and spreads it around. All my enemies, en enemies whisper together against me. They imagine the worst for me, saying, a vile disease has afflicted him. He will never get up from the, the, from the place where he lies. Even my close friend, someone I trusted, one who shared my bread, has turned against me. But may you have mercy on me, Lord. Raise me up that I may repay them. I know that you are pleased with me, for my enemy does not triumph over me. <coughs> um, because of my integrity, you uphold me and set me in your presence forever. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. So um, we're going to start off by looking at the last verse. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen. Just um, bear with me a second. So, Father, praise be to you, God of Israel. Praise be, you, you are the, the mighty God of everyone, Lord. And we, Lord, look up to you. We hold our hands up to you, Lord, and we worship you because you are great. You are wonderful. You are merciful and you are gracious. And you know, we know that you love us all, Lord, and we thank you for that. We thank you for your great love and great mercy. May your love continue forever. Because, Father, you are the creator of the universe, from the vast expanse of the universe, <coughs> excuse me, to the, to the tiniest of atoms and even beyond. You have created it all. And even as science tries to understand your universe lord they get a glimpse of it and they find out more and more about how your your universe works but it's still awesome it's still mind-blowing the tiniest of atoms to the vast expanse of the universe it is mind-blowing but father we sit somewhere in between that all and you love us we thank you father you love every single hair on our head and we thank you father we thank you for who you are we thank you for what you do for us, Lord. You are a great and mighty God. You are the Lord of Lord, King of Kings. And we thank you for everything, Lord. We thank you for everything. So, Father, we just hold up you, hold our, you, you up to, um, to our great worship and glory, Lord. It is you that we want to glorify. It is you that we want to take the the name, to, name of all names to everybody in the world. We want to be your, we want to be the disciples, Lord, that are discipling others, that we are going and spreading the message to, uh, the, to all the nations, Lord, because you are wonderful. And Father, we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for, um, for the love that you have for us, that you sacrificed your one and only son. We know, Lord, that... Um, Abraham went to um, to sacrifice his son Isaac because he felt that's what you wanted to do. But at the last minute, you called a halt to that, Lord. You stopped that and offered the sacrificial lamb uh, ram for them to be able to um, sacrifice to you. But Father, you sacrificed your son, Jesus Christ, and we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you for your great mercies. We thank you, Lord, that you have given us your uh, given us your Son Jesus Christ as 
the ultimate sacrifice that we can be um we can have salvation here on earth uh, in heaven lord with your son jesus christ we thank you for that lord and lord we thank you lord that you are with us in everything we do because you are a great and merciful god you are the one and only god lord that we hold up and revere and worship lord so thank you for everything you've done and thank you lord for giving us another day giving us another day lord where we can can live to you for your glory and glorify you lord we thank you for that lord we thank you for your great mercies we hold these these prayers up to you in the mighty name of your son jesus christ amen i so say we were looking at verse 13 if anybody wants to pray over that please feel free to do so um which says it says first for 13 of psalm 41 praise be to the lord the god of israel from everlasting to everlasting if anybody wants to pray over that one please feel free to do so Okay. Somebody got their mic open. I did I hear? No. Okay. Um, so let's look at verse four. I'll bring that back up again. We'll look at verse four. I said, Have mercy on me, Lord. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. Lord, indeed. We are sinners in thought, word, and deed, for which we're so sorry. Oh, um, for which we're so sorry, Lord. We are sorry, Lord, that we have sinned against you. But we thank you, Lord, for uh, your great, your great mercy. That you are, able, despite our sins, Lord, you're able to forgive, forgive us. We know through your Son Jesus Christ, as, we, as we've already said, Lord, that um, uh, we are saved, and we thank you, Lord. We thank you for your great mercies. We thank you for the sacrifice of your son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins. Because we are sinful people. And we are sorry. We are sorry that we are that we um, we have um, continued to sin. But we are of human nature, unfortunately, Lord. And human nature is sinful. And as much as we try and hard to guard ourselves against the, um, the temptations, you do still, you, <coughs> you still do forgive us when we do fall astray. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, that you are able to um, forgive us our sins. You are graceful. You are, merc you are merciful, Lord. You are merciful of our sins. We do not deserve to have the salvation that we do, but you have given it to us. And we accept it, Lord. We accept it because we have and believe. We have faith and believe in your son, Jesus Christ. We know and trust in him, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for his for that merciful act, the, of the sacrifice of your son, Jesus Christ, for us. And we know, Lord, that because of our faith and belief in him, we have accepted that, um, that gift of salvation. And we thank you, Lord. We just thank you for, for that gift of salvation. We thank you, Lord, for, for all that you do for us. You are a might, mighty God. And I thank you, Lord, for that um, amazing sacrifice. And that you uh, forgive us our sins, Lord. And we know, Lord, that uh, the psalm, that the psalms, many of them are written by, by, by David, and yet he walked with you side by side, and yet still managed to sin. He still managed to do some of the wrong things at, uh, at times, Lord. But you forgave him, Lord. You anointed him as king, and we thank you, Lord, that uh, for that example. That dis not that we intend to go out and sin, Lord, because we are um, we are of you. We seek to be holy and we seek to be righteous. But but sometimes, Father, that um, uh, we we stray from that, Lord, and we are sorry. And we thank you, Lord, that you do forgive us our sins. So we thank you, Lord, in the mighty name of your Son Jesus Christ. Amen. Justin, I see you got your mic open. Did you want to pray? Oh, you're there, Justin. Um, he's not there anymore. 
Did anybody else want to pray? Um, or just oh, Justin's just coming back. Justin, did you want to pray? may I pray, brother? Oh, go on in, please, please pray. Um, go farm. Go farm. Yep. Yes. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Praise Lord. Hallelujah. Go farm. Yeah. Go. Go farm. Go first. Yeah. Hallelujah. Our nation and all the mercies. Always you with us, my right? oh God. You are us, our Father. We are nothing without you. Always you care us. This please. Jesus, you use me for your work. Jesus, we are praying especially, uh, mother and brother. Jesus, please use them more mystery work and always there are our, our care and this please soon has to the our mother and Jesus please touch her she is your daughter she is your maid servant this please keep to her bless in the name of Jesus Christ Amen Amen Thank you God Justin do you want to pray Yes I want to pray Let's believe as we pray. Father, the King of Glory, we honor you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this moment, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of good health, Lord. Thank you, Lord, because we have seen this day, Lord. My Father, we have got idea, Lord, uh, in, uh, through this practice bread for more lord so that we may be able to 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 be cured and receive right from you lord may you send your holy spirit lord to guide us as we start and as we end the lord at the end of this platform oh lord may we be the light so that we may be able to spread light and save save your people lord my father this morning oh lord I pray for the sick people who are in hospital, so Lord. May you send your holy injection, oh Lord, so that your, baby, your people may be healed, oh Lord. My Father, you created us, so Lord, so that we may be able to do according to our will, oh Lord. But we have not done according to our will, oh Lord. My Father, may you forgive in everything we do, Lord. My Father, may you give us peace to us in everything, Lord, we do, Lord. My Father, not like you, the King of glory, may you send your Holy Spirit, Lord, to guide us in everything, Lord, we do, to remove every limitation that hindering our lives. My Father, there is nothing, Lord, which will make us know, not to spread your word where, Lord, you want your word to reach, oh Lord. My Father, may you increase this, may you increase participants in this group, oh Lord, so that we may be able to increase to spread the gospel, oh Lord. My Father, this year we surrender, we surrender our lives unto you, Lord. May you send our, uh, may you send and answer our prayers, my Father, the King of Glory. We honor you, Lord, not like you, the King of Glory, my Father. May you increase when we decrease, O oh Lord. My Father, thank you, Lord, because you're mighty. In the mighty name of Jesus, I believe in Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Justin. Um, I want to move on now to verse 7. Let's have a look at verse 7. All my enemies whisper together against me. They imagine the worst for me, <clears throat> saying a vile disease has afflicted him. He will never get up from the place where he lies. Father, we ask you, Lord, for your protection. Because, Lord, we believe in your son, Jesus Christ, and we proclaim his name, there will be people who who will not accept our words they will not accept the message and they will find fault with us we know lord we've been studying 
um, this week um, on the on the in Acts twenty um, twenty five how the the Apostle Paul um, is having to defend himself against um, the Jewish um, accusations, which are all false. We even know here, Father, that um, uh, Pastor Golfam um, has had false allegations made against him and he has his hearing coming up next month. We know this happens, Lord. People make false allegations against, against others. And Father, we ask you, Lord, for, um, for protection against this. We ask you, Lord, that um, you are able to help us through these difficult times when people seek to destroy us. Place your hedge of protection around us, Lord. Let us be protected from all that comes our way. Let us be um, be safe and secure in your presence, Lord. In all our times and troubles, Lord, and everything we're going through, let, help us to be able to focus on you. Help us to be able to, to know your son, Jesus Christ, feel his presence in all our difficult times and all that we go through. May we, Father, May we, Father, be um, protected by you. May we know your love and experience your love. And as we seek to tell others, may we show your love, Lord. And may your love surround us and protect us, Lord. And may your love and surround and protect our families. So, Father, we just hold this prayer up to you, Lord for protection as people seek to, to harm us and destroy us. But as we shall see in a minute, Lord, help us to be able to forgive those who want to be able to destroy us as well. So, Father, we hold this up to you in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. So we were just praying there. So we've been praying over Psalm 41. And that one was um, verse 7. Um, I'm sorry, I've just seen Gulf Arms um, uh, message here. We've been praying over Psalm 41, and the last verse was, All my enemies whisper together against me. They imagine the worst for saying, A vile disease has afflicted him. He will never get up from the, pal um, the place where he lies. Um, we've just been praying over that particular couple of verses. If anybody wants to pray over those, feel free to do so. Sure, let me do Please pray, Jonathan. Yep. Yeah. Our God and our Father, King of Glory, we bow before your throne, O God. Heaven must also appreciate our Father for this a great opportunity, O God, our Father, to seek your presence to ask your name, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, indeed, we have come before you, O God, because of the God who knows how to protect each and every person. As the Bible says, as David alluded that the Lord, our Father, you are the protector for the enemies, Abba Father, who has surrounded us, O God. Father, we pray, King of glory, we ask your protection, your guidance, O God. Whatever situation we might be in, O Lord, we pray that Heavenly Master, you are the Lord who knows how to help. Father, we pray that the King of glory, a lot of enemies are in our life, life uh, in our life, O God, in our families, O Lord. We pray, King of glory, your protection, Abba Father, to be with us in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord of God, who knows how to guide, the Lord of God, who knows how to protect, the Lord of God, who knows how to help, the Lord of God, who knows how to give a full protection, O God. We ask your name, we glorify your name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Master, we pray even the whole um, panel that the King of glory, uh, look unto us, O oh God, in every situation, in Jesus' mighty name, Father, we pray with all thanksgiving in our heart. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank so, you. So just about to move on to the time of teaching. Does anybody else want to pray over Psalm 41 before we move on to the preaching or the teaching? Okay, so if we move on then, and we're going to be looking at judgment today, and again, as I say, we've been looking at all this week um, at Acts 25, and we can see that the Apostle Paul 
Um, he's been falsely accused by the Jew, um, Jews of blasphemy. Um, and he's uh, uh, they've gotten up very upset and there's been some rioting. Um, but the Romans have managed to protect him so far because um, Paul is a Roman citizen. But nobody seems to be able to make judgment. Nobody seems to be able to um, uh, say whether he was um, innocent or guilty. Uh, and he's now at a point where he has called to go and um, plead his case before the Emperor Caesar. Um, Caesar. So uh, <coughs> nobody seems to have made judgment. But we're going to have a look at um, John 5 here because it tells us who really has the, the, the authority to judge. And we look at verses um, 24 to 30 of John 5, which says, Very truly I tell you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be judged, but has crossed over from death to life. Very truly I tell you, the time is coming and it's now come when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear, hear will live. For as a father has life in himself, so he has granted the son also to have life in himself. So I repeat for that one. For as, the father, for as the father has life in himself, so he has granted the son also to have life in himself. And he has given him the authority to judge because he is the son of man. Do not be amazed at this, for a time is coming when all... <clears throat> sorry. When, when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and come out. Those who have done it, what is good will rise to live, and those who have done what is evil will rise to be condemned. By myself I can do nothing. I judge only as I hear, and my judgment is just, for I seek not to please myself, but him who sent me. So we can see from this particular verse that... Judgment, the ultimate judgment, is by Jesus Christ himself. It is Jesus that the, the Father, that God, has given the authority to judge. Now, um, I know it's very difficult, um, particularly when we've been hurt, when we've been harmed by somebody, not to judge. And, I, you know, I can hold my hand up and I can say that I, I stand guilty of that sometimes, to judging people. Um, I stand guilty sometimes when um, I sometimes get people coming on to me on to uh, Messenger or uh, WhatsApp sending me messages and I make judgments of what they're going to say next and I shouldn't do that because quite often I'm wrong um, but I make judgment I make judgment of people and it shouldn't be the case and many of us make judgment on people we know that um, Jesus Christ he says about um, why do we look at the speck in somebody's eye and not notice the plank in our own eye? And I mean, that is so true because at the end of the day, we are all sinners. We are all got faults. So, <clears throat> so what right have we to judge others? Jesus Christ was the only person that's ever lived that has never sinned. So Jesus Christ has the authority to judge others. We, as I say, are sinners. So we have no authority to judge others. At the end of the day, if somebody has um, hurt us or harmed us, we need to forgive. And if we do not forgive, at the end of the day, that bitterness hurts us. Very often, somebody doesn't know that they've hurt us. Somebody doesn't know that they've sinned against us and harmed us. So they're not even thinking about it. They're not the ones that are hurting. But because of the bitterness that we hold, they because of the bitterness that we hold, we are the ones that are hurting. It is affecting our lives. So this is why we need to forgive. And we shouldn't judge. We shouldn't judge. And we know that there are many people who have um, committed all sorts of horrendous crimes of one sort or another, whether it be murder, whether it be um, um, drug dealing, uh, whether it be um, committing fraud or scamming people. But these people, we do not have to judge. God has, God can judge them. And God, uh, God will, oh, Jesus will judge them. God has given the authority for Jesus to, to judge them. And these people who committed crimes, 
many of them will want it will turn to Jesus Christ and despite their sins God forgives them and so at the end of the day Jesus is for everybody Jesus is for everybody it doesn't matter what our sin is it doesn't matter what we've done wrong if we turn to Jesus and Jesus will Jesus will um, forgive us we know what we want is the when we have our time in heaven in front of in front of the uh, the throne, that Jesus be our advocate, that Jesus says, I know him. We do not want to hear those words, I do not know you. We want to be able to hear the words, uh, I know him, and he is true and he is faithful. And this is what we want to be able to hear in the, in, in the, uh, in, on judgment day, that Jesus stands up for us that Jesus looks for us because we have turned to him. We have known him personally. He has been our Lord and Saviour, and we have accepted that. We have accepted him as our Lord and Saviour. So we do not need to judge other people because that, that authority is for Jesus and Jesus alone. We need to be able to leave that for him to be able to make those judgments. And as I say, I do know uh, I've come across other people who seem to be very sort of judgmental of people's ways can be very judgmental of where you know to, to decide whether somebody has actually um found a relationship with jesus or not whether they've actually um got the holy spirit living within them i've heard many people um say that about others but that's not for us to say that is not for us to say and I, again I, I stand guilty of that i've had it in the past where um, perhaps I go to church on a Sunday and sort of think so and so hasn't got the Holy Spirit in them. But who am I to judge? Jesus is the one that knows that if that person is close to to Him or not. It's not for me to judge. It's not for me to say this person has a personal relationship with Jesus. That is between them and Jesus. So at the end of the day, let us not judge. Let us not judge people's spirituality. Let us just try to live in harmony with them. And if we, if they do not know Jesus, then it's down to us to be able to to help them form that relationship with Jesus, help them to come closer to Jesus. So let us not judge. The ultimate judge is Jesus Christ. He is the one that God has given the authority to, <laughs> to judge. So let us just uh, hold that in our hearts. Let us just remember that we do not judge that Jesus, Jesus judges, and we want to be on the right side of him to come the day of judgment um, in, in the throne before God. Let Jesus be our advocate. So let us just pray over that one. Let us just pray and say, Father, we thank you, Lord, that the ultimate judgment comes from Jesus Christ, your son, our saviour. We thank you, Father, for that. Help us, Lord to forgive all people. Help us, Lord, to, to get on with people and to not judge. We know, Father, that, um, yes, perhaps we can judge a sin, but we love the sinner. We may hate the sin, but we love the sinner. We love all people. You love all people, Lord. And we know, Lord, that you forgive. We know, Lord, that you long for everyone to turn to, to you through your son, Jesus Christ. So, Father, we ask you, Lord, to, to help us not to judge we ask you lord to help us to forgive and that we ask you lord to help us to love everyone around us in the mighty name of your son jesus christ amen so we've just been talking about judgment and not being able to, to not be in, the, in a position to judge other or not putting ourselves in a position to judge other people does anybody want to pray for that before we go on to our intercessionary prayers? Yeah, Justin, please do. Let's let's pray. My father, we got, uh, I, I I come unto you one once again, O Lord. Thank you, Lord, because you are my Lord. We have seen your hand through this platform, O Lord. My Father, we have heard from your servant, O Lord, about judgment, O Lord. My Father, may you give us knowledge and wisdom, O Lord, on how we can handle ourselves.
so that we may be able to maintain peace within us, Lord. My Father, when our hearts have no peace, Lord, may you send your Holy Spirit, Lord, to guide us when we have no peace, Lord. May you be the Prince of Peace, Lord. May you bring love where there seems to be no love, Lord. May you bring peace where there seems to be hatred, Lord. My Father, give us knowledge, Lord, on how we can handle certain cases, Lord, so that we may be able to live. My Father, we need to live in a, a, a life like a Christian, Lord. Living a life that Oh, Lord, you desire us to live, oh, Lord, my Father. We need your knowledge, oh, Lord. We need your Holy Spirit, Lord, in every situation, oh, Lord. We need to humble ourselves, oh, Lord, when it seems to be the devil, oh, Lord. When the devil works upon us, oh, Lord, we need to seek you, Lord, so that we may be able to remain in a peaceful, Lord, a peaceful way, oh, Lord. My Father, thank you, thank you, thank you Lord, because of my the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and believe in Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Justin. Does anybody else want to pray over um, what we've been talking about in judgment before we move on to intercessionary prayers? Please feel free to open your mic. Philip. Pastor, um, yeah, Pastor, Pastor Philip. Thank you, sir. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you very much for this morning. Father, you have given us another day to have come together in this platform so that, Lord, we can continue to, uh, to, to hear you for one. Father, you have just taught, taught us that we should have to forgive others. There is no room for us to judge others. Lord, may you give us this to work in the darkness. Father, we will pray that where we have been offended, Lord, we have to give us wisdom on how to handle the situations. Thank you, Lord, as we continue to learn. May you continue to be with us. May your hand be upon us in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Philip. Go farmer. So your mic opened just a minute ago. Did you want to pray? Okay. Which case then? We'll move on to um our time of intercessionary prayers. But before we start, I just want to do um a polycap. Did you want to pray? Yes, I want to pray. Yeah, please do, yep. Okay, let us pray. Our Heavenly Master, Lord in heaven, we thank you because of this great chance you have given us this moment, my dear God. I praise you and I worship you because of the teachings that we have received this morning. Thank you because of our mentor. Thank you because of the teachings of judgment. We have been told that we should not judge others. Let us forgive them. Let us help them. Let us guide them in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, my God, because you will be with us. You will guide us and give us more revelation through your word. I pray this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Polycap. Awesome. Okay. We move on, as I say, to our time of intercessionary prayer. Um, first of all, though, that... Um, I am reminded that um, we should um, include the, the, the Lord's Prayer in all our prayers because it is simple, but it includes everything. So, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So yeah, we come on to our time of intercessory prayers. And um, as is normal, first of all, we pray for, pray for nations. We pray for the nations that are experiencing um, either conflict, unrest or particularly difficult times. So, Father, we place these nations before you. And, Father, I place before you, first of all, Ukraine and Russia, a war that's been going on for some time, and as yet there seems to be no end to the conflict. There doesn't seem to be any um, uh, ceasefires. There doesn't seem to be any talks of, um, of resolution and peace. But, Father, we just ask, Lord, that... Um, 
there is peace that comes to this particular part of the world. We do ask for peace in Ukraine and Russia, that um, hearts can be softened and that leaders <laughs> will talk. <laughs> excuse me, leaders will talk in order to establish peace in, in that particular part of the world. So, Father, we hold Ukraine and Russia up to you for all peace. Father, we hold up to you likewise Israel, Gaza, um, and Yemen with it, the with the Houthi, um, with the Houthi uh, attacks going on in the Red Sea as well, Father. All part of the same conflict, it would appear. But Father, we do hold these, these nations up to you for peace. Again, may people recognise that love should overcome um, power, that the power of love should overcome the love of power, and that peace should reign in these countries, Lord. So again, we ask you, Father, to, to look upon these nations, to uh, formulate uh, peace talks, and a, a, a great and lasting peace can come about. We hear many people say that um, history says that there will never be peace in this particular region. But that doesn't have to be the case, Father. We do pray, Lord, that an everlasting peace can, can happen within this region, as indeed across the whole world. But here in Israel and Gaza, we do pray, Lord, that people open their hearts and the love comes shining through, your love comes shining through, and that peace can reign in this particular part of the world. So, Father, we do hold Israel and Gaza and Yemen up to you. And, Father, uh, I've been asked, Lord, to pray for peace in Pakistan. Again, places like Pakistan and India are very difficult places to be, to be Christians. And, Father... It's very difficult to be able to um, be able to take your words across these nations, Lord, particularly when there's so many people opposed um, opposed to to hearing the word and can be very violently opposed to it as well. But Father, we do hold that these nations up to you. We do hold these nations up to you, Lord. Pakistan, India, places where it's difficult to be a be a Christian, Lord, and to be able to disciple for you. But we hold them up to you, Lord, and we ask that peace does reign in this particular part of the world, that people can learn to love each other and live with each other. And Father, we pray place up to you. Um, at the moment, I understand, Lord, that Turkey again has, in certain areas, have suffered earthquakes again, Lord. And I know of one particular person, Lord, who contacts me regularly to keep keep me updated. So it does seem, Lord, that they are struggling in um, southeast Turkey. Um, particularly with the earthquakes that's happened there. But we do ask you, Lord, to, to help people recover, to help people to um, re-establish their livelihoods, re-establish their homes, um, to be able to have shelter and food, Lord. So we hold, this, uh, hold Turkey up to you particularly, but also other nations that are still recovering from earthquakes. And any other situations, Lord, any other countries, Lord, where um, natural disasters have occurred, and that um, um, uh, people have lost livelihoods, Lord. May they know your loving presence, Lord, as they restore their lives. So we hold them up to you, Lord. And Father, I've been also asked to um, pray for Kenya, particularly because of the, the high cost of living that's going on there. Father, we will come across our prayers for people in financial difficulty soon, but certainly there seems to be a lot of problems in, in Kenya, as there are in many parts of the world, but um, the particular request is for Kenya, that um, Kenya is held up to you, Lord, that people can um, find their way out of their struggles with the financial difficulties, that they can find their way to um, having secure homes, secure jobs, uh, and be able to put food on the table. So, Father, we do hold Kenya up to you, Lord, and help ask you, Lord, to help the people in their struggles. Um, particularly with their financial difficulties. So Father, um, these are the countries, Lord, that I hold up to you um, in prayer today. Um, hold up to you, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that you hear our prayer in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. So I just prayed for nations there. Does anybody particularly want to pray for na nations or any other nations that they may have on their hearts? Please, please feel free to do so.
Okay. We move on to prayers for healing. And um, uh, so we, we hold these people up to you, Father, for healing. We ask, Lord, that uh, through your son, Jesus Christ, that these people are healed um, from their particular um, ailments, from their particular um, physical um, problems. So, Father, we hold these people up to you, Lord, uh, through your son, Jesus Christ. Um, there's another golf farm that I know of, a golf farm, uh, Buchan, um, whose daughter's broken her arm. So, Lord, we just pray for uh, his daughter's arm to be healed um, quickly and, and, and properly, Lord, without any difficulties, without any um, scarring, and that she has full use of that arm again, Lord. So we hold Gulf Army Khan's um, daughter up to you, Lord. You know who she is, Lord. And we hold her up to you, Lord, that her arm be healed, be healed um, speedily and, to say, without no ill effects, Lord. So we hold her up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, lady named Anna has asked for prayers for her, her husband, Jaffa, um, who's... Um, seems to be having kid where well, has got kidney failure and water in the lungs so that again is particularly difficult um that is a horrendous situation to um, find himself in but lord we do ask for healing lord um for, for jaffa jaffa or jaffa i'm not quite sure how to pronounce his name but my game father you know who he is that um these kidneys are uh, returned to normal function and that the the lungs are uh, drained of all the all fluid that might be in that particular in, in those lungs. So, Father, we do do hold um, Jaffa Jaffa up to you, um, in the mighty name of your Son Jesus Christ for healing. Let him be healed now in the name of your Son Jesus Christ. Uh, friend Robert Berry, pray for him every week. Um, in Chicago, um, has all sorts of um, uh, uh, ailments. Um, a lot of them sort of stem from the, the past when he's had to have an operation on his brain. Um, this week, he just said he hasn't been feeling well. So, Father, you know Robert's situation. You know the healing that he needs. So, Lord, whatever the illnesses that he's been suffering this week, whether it be his heart problems, whether it be um, breathing difficulties, whether it be his arthritis, uh, you know the issues that he's been suffering from, Lord. So we hold him up to you, Lord, for your healing in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, uh, Janet Nayakunde, um, her daughter Hadassah has had malaria. And Father, we just pray, Lord, but I think we, I think she's recovered from this. And we thank you, Lord, that again in praise that she has recovered from this, and that Hadassah has recovered and that she knows your healing presence, Lord. So we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you for for the um, for the healing of Hadassah, Lord. And um, uh, Jacqueline in Japan, uh, we hold up to you, Lord. Um, we know, Lord, that she struggles to to sleep. She suffers from insomnia. So we hold her up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your Son Jesus Christ, that she be healed, that she be healed from this um, insomnia, that she can have deep and restful sleep, Lord. And have have the energies that she requires to to go through her normal normal working day, but also, Lord, um, to be able to serve you. So, Father, we hold Jacqueline up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your Son Jesus Christ, that her her sleep can be deep and restful. So we hold her up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your Son Jesus Christ. And finally, we had um, we had Doctor Rufus on with us earlier on. Um, in uh, had a uh, accident on his bike last weekend um so father any injuries that he he has sustained from that father may he be healed and recover speedily lord again he is a great servant of yours who who loves you dearly and does your work again in a difficult part of the world in india he <laughs> he asks lord that uh, uh, he recovers speedily from this uh, mo uh, this cycle, motorbike accident and that uh, he is healed Father, we also hold up to him his family and his ministry. Um, family, Lord, we know that the children in the family very often struggle with uh, um, uh, financial or for the educational fees that they need to be able to pay. 
So, Lord, we, we ask you, Lord, that his family um, uh, held up to you, Lord, for your, your help and support in this difficult time. And that his ministry, too, um, can go from strength to strength, um, particularly, as I say, this difficult part of the world to be a Christian, that his ministry goes from strength to strength as well. So, in many ways, Lord, we hold Dr. Rufus up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. Those are some of the prayers for healing. Does anybody want to pray for any of those before we move on? Okay. We move on to people's personal situations. Again, we pray for uh, Jackie. What's on? Oh, hello, hello, David. You want to pray? Yes. Please do. Yep. Okay. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory, eternal rock of ages. We, we worship you, Adonai. Thank you, Father, for the gift of life. Thank you, Father, for protection and guidance. Father, we thank you for your love, your mercy, your grace, your compassion. Father, this hour, I present to you Everyone that is sick all over, all over the world, I present to you the situation that is happening in every part of the world. Father, I pray, King of Glory, that you heal the sick. Father, I pray, King of Glory. That you heal the world. Father, you are our Abba Father, I pray that you protect your people, protect us, Abba Father, from every attack of the enemy. Ancient of days, we, we rely on you, Father, we rely on you, eternal rock of ages. Abba, Abba Father, thank you. Thank you, Father, for healing us. Thank you, Father, for rescuing us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for your, for, for your protection of our lives. Thank you, Father, for your protection of our families. We honor you, Father. We honor you. We give you all the glory. We magnify your name, eternal rock of ages. We magnify your name, Abba Father. We magnify your name. Ancient of day, this hour, I plead the blood of Jesus, the blood that speaks better things than the blood of heaven. Father, I pray that you have compassion on us. Father, forgive us our sins. Forgive us our sins, our Father, in any way that we have come short of your glory, in any way that we have offended you, Father, knowingly or unknowingly. Heavenly Father, please have compassion on us. Abba Father, have compassion on us. Father, please forgive us our sins in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way in our lives. Have your way in our lives today. Ancient of days, protect us today. Our going and our coming in, Father, protect us. Ancient of days. Father, do not allow any evil to befall us this day. Abba Father. Protect your people, protect your people, protect those that are in the in, in the mission field. Father, protect them, Abba Father. I pray that you strengthen them as they as they move on to spread the good news, Father. Empower them, strengthen them in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the glory, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Amen. Okay. Thank you, David. We move on now to prayers for um, uh, people's situations. So people are in and out at the moment. Um, pray for uh, people's situations. Um, we prayed for Jacqueline with her, uh, her sleeve with Jacqueline in, in Japan, Jacqueline Watanabe. Um, she also says that she's struggling to feel God's presence. And there's a couple of prayers that um, um, are asking to feel the God's presence or to feel the Holy Spirit. So, Father, we do praise Jacqueline up to you, Lord, that she can um, she can more often feel your presence and your closeness, Lord, that she can feel your love. May you be with her, Lord, and let her be able to feel that presence in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, because your son, Jesus Christ, is her Lord and saviour. And so just help her to feel your presence uh, more readily and more easily through the Holy Spirit. And likewise, Douglas on Juso, um, he just says um, prayers for families in, in Kenya who need the Holy Spirit. I'm sure, Father, there are 
many, many people throughout the world who, who would dearly love to be able to feel the presence of your Holy Spirit. But um, Douglas particularly has asked for these these families in Kenya, Lord, who are, are missing the Holy Spirit to be able to to feel feel your presence through the Holy Spirit. May they know your presence. May they know your love. May they feel you feel you are with them um, in everything that they um, that they do. Uh, may they be guided by the Holy Spirit, because it's through your Holy Spirit that we get our wisdom, Lord. That wisdom um, prevails. Your wisdom prevails through the Holy Spirit. So, Father, we do ask, Lord, that these families too feel your presence, feel the presence of your Holy Spirit, and are guided by them. So we ask this in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. And Gulf Farm still with us. Um, we heard earlier that his court hearing has be coming up um, next month. And so, Father, we ask you, Lord, to, to be with him, Lord, and for this to be uh, have a wonderful outcome because we know that the charges that have been made against him are false. Um, we, and we know, Lord, that... Uh, um, you know that this happens so much, Lord, particularly in places like Pakistan and India, where um, uh, blasphemy laws um, uh, it's almost um, thrown at people willy nilly. Um, that they just um, um, throw them at them and, and cause trouble, Lord. And we know, Lord, that Gold Farm is a particularly great servant of yours, um, who does not need to be in this position, doesn't deserve to be in this position. But we, Lord, ask you, Lord, to um, show grace upon him, Lord, in this particular hearing, that um, it is a successful outcome. But let him feel your presence throughout this, Lord. Let him know that the Holy Spirit is with him, guiding guiding him through this particularly difficult time. So we hold Gulf Farm up to you in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And a um, friend of ours, Nia, in England, um, the son Ashley has been particularly feeling anxious. Um, we don't quite know where the what the anxiety is all about, Lord. Um, we know that um, for both her sons, um, uh, Ashley and Reese, Lord, are having difficult times at the moment, um, finding it sometimes a bit difficult to come to you. The so, Father, we we just hold um, we hold particularly Ashley up to you, who seems to be suffering with anxiety of some sort lord may you be able to ease his mind lord may he be able to turn to you and have rest whatever he's anxious over may he be able to put that at the foot of the cross of, put it at the foot of your son jesus christ that um he may have rest and that he will know um the the peace and uh the past is all understanding um that comes from you lord so father we hold um ashley up to you in the mighty name of your son jesus christ um friend of mine jane barker um she seems to be having some very very difficult times as she um works her way through her uh her period of ordination of a period of curacy um she has um, found um or is honoring you lord and being obedient to you lord by going through the process of ordination and um, yet there's some difficult times that she's been having lord um, she feels as though um, uh, she's having these spiritual attacks from the enemy. And we know, Father, very well that when people turn to do your work, that very often the enemy will attack because they do not want to, um, they do not want people on your side. But, Lord, we know we are on the winning side. We are on the winning side because of you. And Jane is on the winning side. So let her be able to feel your comfort and presence during these particularly difficult times for her, Lord. She seeks to serve you. So we ask that in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And Philip is still with us. Um, Philip Waffler, a um, couple of prayers for him. We'll do one now. Um, but we know, Father, that um, uh, one of the homes that he he has um, has got jiggers in the in the um, in the uh, the disease and um, in the soil uh, or the into the uh, soil there. Um, particularly in one of the homes. And it does seem as though that the um, flooring that has been laid and the disinfection that um, went on last year um, worked for a while, Lord, but it seems to have returned. 
but father we do pray for uh um a permanent resolution for this particular problem in this particular house that uh or this particular building that uh the jiggers are um are eliminated and that there's a way to be found to be able to uh, have a permanent elimination of these this particular this particular disease so we ask you lord to, to help them and he also asked lord for for blankets for the children um so that they obviously can um sort of be kept warm um so we thank we thank you lord for his ministry with these particular people and all that he is doing to help and support um the children and the widows in his particular part of kenya we thank you for that lord but these particular problems we hold up to you lord um for some resolution and we do so in the mighty name of your son jesus christ um one point uh, another situation i just praying for my work colleague um simon um who is moving home today uh moving house and here in england that can be an extremely stressful time so we just ask you lord that um you help and guide him lord and that things go smoothly for him as he does his particular house move moving quite some distance as well um from one part of the country to another so father we do pray for simon lord that uh uh, this particular house move goes well and that he comes to know you lord that he comes to know you and his family come to know you and that um he realizes that uh, all good things house move and everything lord is because of you so help him to come to find you and know you lord in the mighty name of your son jesus christ okay we've still got a few more prayers to to go yet but i'll pause at that point to see if anybody else wants uh wants to to pray and i'll just have a quick look at the chats as well so it looks like i've missed a few okay i see their golf arm um you, you ask for prayers for your home condition um so father we hold that up to you lord the golf arm has that home can you know that them we also know lord he's going out today um doing your ministry work doing your work so just be just guide him lord through the holy spirit as he as he seeks to do your work and do his ministry work today as well um a faithful servant of yours here most weeks lord um and we you know we thank you lord for his his loyalty to you and his loyalty to this prayer meeting lord and so may his work and his home conditions be be true and faithful, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Okay. We prayed earlier on for um, somebody's financial difficulties, but there are there are others, Father, that we want to hold up to you because of their particular financial situations. Um, Wycliffe on Tanga, Lord, on Otanga. Struggle sometimes with these pronunciations. Wycliffe on Tanga. Um, again, he's just asking prayer, prayers for school fees for the children to be able to um, to be able to attend school and 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 be with you know be educated, Lord, so that they have a great future, Lord. So, Father, we just hold these people up to you, uh, these children up to you, that their school fees can be met and that their education can go forward for a great future. Tanvir um ask lord for finances for his ministry uh this time of year the uh finances coming in for his work in pakistan uh seems to sort of um drop off uh, so it becomes a difficult time of the year for him um to be able to do his, do your work but father we do ask lord that his ministry continues to to thrive particularly in pakistan where it is difficult to be a christian but his work continues, Lord, because it's been able to be financed in whichever whichever way is possible, Lord. Um, so we hold Tanvir up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And Jasper, um, his house is leaking badly. Um, it needs repairs. Um, obviously, Father, this takes finances to be able to afford the materials to be able to repair um, roofs and all, all all the other parts of the building that might be leaking or falling down so lord we hold um jasper's finances up to you lord um, for improvement that the things that uh, he needs for his house repairs 
can be found, Lord. So, Father, we do hold Jasper up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Uh, we prayed for um, Janet Nayakundi earlier on, particularly for um, her daughter, um, Hadessa, who's had uh, uh, malaria but seems to have overcome it. They still need um, uh, the finances for, for food and continuing medication. So, Father, we do hold Janet up to you and, and her family, Benson as well, um, Jaden and Hadassah, up to you, Lord, that um, uh, they are provided for with food, that their um, uh, physical nourishment has, has been met, as well as their spiritual nourishment as well, Father, that they all be met. So we hold them up to you, Lord, for the, the food that they need and the medicine they need. And we hold them up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, and Jonathan Bando, I don't know if Jonathan might have gone. Jonathan prayed earlier on with us. Um, but Jonathan, um, uh, his church is still requiring a roof. Um, so, Father, again, we just ask you, Lord, that the, um, the uh, finances are available, Lord, for this particular church building to be completed. We don't always know where these finances are coming from, Lord, but you know this work um, which is needed and that the work can be, be completed, Lord, and that his church members, the congregation there, who come to worship you, you can do so in comfort, Lord, free from the elements that they are able to worship you, Lord, because this church is completed. So we hold Jonathan Vander's work up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And Justin, who was with us earlier and was praying, um, uh, we heard earlier on that some of his prayers was a bit uh, difficult uh, because of the connection. Uh, he does ask for a decent phone. But, Father, we know that Justin is a great servant of yours and he does your work, particularly looking after orphans. And we just pray, Lord, that um, whatever um, the equipment he needs to be able to do your work, to be a servant of yours, Lord, as provided for, that he has the resources to be able to to do your work, Lord, to look after the children, to provide the children with the the physical and spiritual nourishment that they need, and for him to be able to have the decent equipment to be able to come on board with our prayer meetings and to connect with us um, more readily, Lord. So we ask this in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, prayers for ministry. We move on to prayers for ministry. Um, a few of those. Um, Pastor Rafiq um, just prays, asks for prayers for his family. Um, so we ask, Lord, that you look after his family. Um, again, there were a couple of prayers for um, for bikes for the, the particular ministries these people serve, and Pastor Rafiq is one of them. So, excuse me, you know, Father, what resources these um, particular people need for their um for their ministry to be able to go across the villages to be able to spread the word of your son jesus christ so it is it, it is um uh, bikes that pastor rafiq needs and also pastor tambia that we prayed for earlier if it is bikes that they need may they they have these resources may these be available for them to be able to do your work um, but you know their needs to be able to do their work and Father, we just ask you, Lord, to provide for those in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Wilfred Carosi just prays for the orphans that he looks after. Um, uh, and uh, also for the food and the house, um, house repairs that he needs to be able to look after these orphans. We thank you, Father, that he has a dedication to look after these children. So, Father, be able to... Uh, provide for them the food that they need, the nourishment that they need, physically and spiritually, Lord, and that their home is um, is safe and secure as well, Father. So we hold um, we hold the the orphans of Wilfred Carosi up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your Son Jesus Christ. Um, Bart Hanapu in India, again a difficult place to be um, uh, Christian, and Dayamani as well in India. Both of them, again, in India, places of uh, uh, difficulties to be Christians. But both these, um, both these uh, people 
they have a ministry going out to the villages in India, um, preaching and bringing people to, to, um, to you, Father, through your son, Jesus Christ. And from what I say, there is a lot of success. So, Father, we do ask you, Lord, that um, uh, this ministry is con um, continue, these ministries continue, and this, the um, financial support that they need is available, but also the um, uh, human support is available, those that they need to work, you know, to work alongside them in order to bring your word to the very many people, that that is available too, Lord. So we do pray for uh, Vard Hanapu and Diamani up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And uh, a lady called Harley in Pakistan. Um, she's working with um, with women um, out there, um, helping them to try and provide for themselves. Uh, I know that they're trying to start um, sewing industries for these particular women so that these women can actually be able to earn some income for themselves. And it's a wonderful work that Harley is doing with them. So, Father, may this particularly um, be blessed. We do ask you, Lord, that uh, these people are able to um, have an income of some sort um, by providing a service for people, whether it be sewing or whatever it might be. Um, you know the needs of these people in this particular area. May they be served by um, people like these women that Harley are looking after and helping to support. So we hold Harley and her women up to you and all the others, Lord, who are seeking to serve, to start their own little businesses in order to be able to generate their own income. We hold them up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And um, Philip, um, I think, yeah, Philip's still with us. Um, we hold him up, his, his ministry up to you, Lord, particularly the radio ministry. Uh, may that continue to be uh, a blessing to many people and bring more people to come to know you. Um, we know, Lord, that he's been with two groups in Kakamiga. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, but the, the people, Lord, that he's reaching out to there um, to be able to bring them to, um, to you through your son, Jesus Christ. So we, ha we pray, Lord, that his ministry um, continues to be blessed. Jonathan Bander, that was with us earlier on and prayed, again, has a radio ministry. We pray, Lord, that that continues to bring many people to Christ. And um, Robert Kalule, who does our um, uh, website, uh, may his, um, his uh, work with, I with IT, helping and supporting other ministries with their IT um, businesses, may that be success successful too, Lord, helping and bringing many people to, to come to know you through your son, Jesus Christ. Um, couple more, just Senior Maman Yijane, uh, his TV ministry. May that continue to be be a blessing to many people in the Kitty area of Kenya. May that be um, be a blessing to many people too. And finally, Derek Raybon in, um, in Texas, again, doing much work with TV and radio, um, attempting to, well, attempting and being successful, Lord, and being fruitful, Lord, in bringing many people to come to know you. May his work continue, Lord, um, to your glory. So, Father, we hold all these prayers up to you, all these prayers of intercession, Lord, we hold up to you, Lord, um, for your blessings, Lord. May you hear all our prayers, Lord, and may you, um, in your own way, answer these prayers, Lord, in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. That is our time of prayers this morning. Does anybody else want to pray before we close? Please feel free to open your mic. Okay. Well, so we have come to our, the end of our prayers. I'm going to close with the grace. And then at the end of the grace, please feel free to open your mics. Oh, Pastor Christopher, your mic is open. Did you want to pray or say something? Amen. Amen. Uh... I thank God for this uh, session, this uh, moment of prayer. Actually, I will only wish to also engage in praying for the items that uh, we have had. People have sent their prayer requests, more so the pastors. So just allow me to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, yep. Father, in the mighty name of Christ Jesus of Nazareth, we come before you once again, O oh Lord, as we present the matters that are available in our hands, the cry of your people, 
mostly pastors they are crying for their ministries my father those who are undertaking the tv programs the radio programs those who are doing evangelists oh lord i pray that you may give them grace you give them favor you give them peace my father in the communities whereby they are serving Jehovah king of glory you know we are at the wrong hour the time whereby the messiah you are coming back to take the church we pray, my Father, that you may help us. We may walk in righteousness, holiness, and truth, my Father. I give you glory and honor as I pray, my Father, that you may also remember this, uh, this ministry of Kunga Nation Ministry. Remember the director and all other people who are participants and who are taking uh, part in this uh, session. Father, pray that you may remember everyone, Jehovah, and also grant your people blessing. In the mighty name of Christ Jesus, I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Chris. Philip, I see your mic is open. Did you want to pray? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this. 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 Thank you, Lord, for May Father be with them. May you give them. And still we meet again the next week. We say thank you. In the name we pray. Amen. Thank you. My friend. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to end with the, with the grace. And then we can open our mics and say goodbye. So the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 All right. Okay. Thanks for joining us all this morning. And um, as I say, I look forward to seeing you all again next week. But um, uh, have a good week and be have a blessed week. And as I say, look forward to seeing you again next week. God bless all. God bless you, brother. God bless you for your love and time. Thank you. Always you remember us in your prayers. I mean, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you.